So, the financial crisis is the fault of business school graduates. Their students only care about money. Business schools are today's incarnation of the devil. These are some of the comments I sometimes get when I tell that I'm a business school dean. By the way, the shortest reaction was, well, then you're a leader of a factory of brats. Actually, they didn't use the word brats, but since it's an official uh, speech, my communications team suggested me to not go for the direct quote. So, what can a business school actually do to change this? First, good people often do bad things unconsciously, so it is up to us, the business school, to make sure that you, students, are aware of your choices. Um, let me explain this by an, exa by an experiment done by Ariel Rubenstein. He made a students uh, take on the role of a CEO confronted with the very tough decision of how many employees to fire. He created two, two different student groups. The first group got a math equation showing the profits as a function of employees. And the second uh, student group got a table with two columns, one column uh, the number of employees, the second column the uh, profits corresponding to the number of employees. While 75% of the math equation group fired the profit maximizing number of employees, not even half did the same with the second group. So only by presenting the consequences in a more visible manner and not as a simple math equation made students to think made, uh, uh, students yes to think more of uh, the employees and uh, encourage them to take a less radical decision. So it is not uh, necessarily that we need to teach you more ethical decision taking, but. Uh, that we make you more aware of uh, the various consequences, because you are already good people. Which brings me to my second point, which is uh, that uh, temptation even leads the best people to stray from the right path. Sometimes we want to do good things, um, but at weak points, weak, weak moments, temptation takes over. Me, for example, I rarely buy a bag of chips in the supermarket because I just know that within the first five minutes when coming home, I will eat them like a pig, sometimes even before. Uh, so I just know this is my weak spot, so I don't do it. That's why business schools need to train you in order to become what has been called moral architects, which is entrepreneurs and managers who are able to design businesses and processes which reduce these kind of temptations. Professors need to be moral architects too. Be conscious about the unethical temptations within their academic uh, domain, make you aware of it, and to teach you how to reduce them. In marketing, for example, my domain, we still too often uh, teach you that, for example, the best placement for sweets to be sold in a supermarket is at the checkout um, of the supermarket at the height of children's eyes. Because children will make sure to get so much on their parents' nerves, surrounded by annoyed other customers in the supermarket, that parents will probably give in and buy the sweets for their children. But is this ethical? and uh, might uh, parents not appreciate uh, supermarket chains not, um, not uh, engaging in such uh, tactics. Just some food for thought. Third, for those amongst you who are really into making profits, it is very important that we as a business school make sure that everybody understands that Milton uh, Friedman's famous claim that the sole purpose of a company is to maximize profits is completely has been. Hmm? To systematically address environmental and societal issues is not only necessary, but also will deliver better return on investments in the long run. Short-term maximization of profits and shareholder value will not be sufficient if you want to engage your employees, if you want to create uh, brand loyalty, or if you just want to make consumers love your company. 
And in this area, uh, business schools might actually be lagging behind their students, behind you. Um, increasingly demanding courses on business ethics, sustainability, moral decision taking. Um, there has been a tremendous shift in the last decade uh, in student attitudes toward these topics. And while 10 years ago it would have been very tough to find enough participant students for a whole program, an entire program on sustainability, today these kind of programs are very much demanded. Uh, the proof is our own Master in International Sustainability Management, which runs now for the second time very successfully. And by the way, uh, thank you very much to the students of this Master who helped a lot in organizing uh, this event. Thank you very much. And due to your success or the success of this program, we actually decided to launch a second uh, program, uh, the uh, Master in Entrepreneurship and Sustainable Innovation as of next fall. So you see there is a lot of uh, things going on in this area. Uh, before I forget, I uh, do not only uh, need to thank uh, the uh, students of the Master in International Sustainability Management, but also I would uh, like to thank Allianz Volkswagen and the Stifterverband for, for giving us the opportunity to be in this fantastic, uh, incredible building. Uniqlo for bringing some color to this event, as well as uh, Lemonade, uh, Miglo and uh, Surplus for making sure that we have something to eat and to drink. Uh, moreover, and especially, I would like to thank all the different experts. We have uh, more than 70 experts and organizations uh, coming uh, to, here to the event or to the campus uh, tomorrow to work, um, think, and co-create with you in this area. And we all know uh, that time is very scarce, and uh, to be willing to give some of their time to work with you, uh, we really appreciate it a lot, and uh, thank you very much for that. Um, yeah. <laughs> to conclude, um, I am confident that none of you thought of profit maximization as their life goal when they entered ESCP Europe Business School, but rather of making a difference in this world. And it is up to us, the business school, to make you not forget about your initial aspiration uh, when sitting through all the finance, marketing, strategy courses. And this is why we organized today's event, today's conference, based on the United Nations 17 uh, Sustainable Development Goals. Um, to make, to remember, to remind you and to remind us of what is important in life, what is important in a professional career. So uh, let's make sure that the world understands that a business school is not well defined as a Bratz factory. Let's be inspired, let's have an impact, enjoy the conference. <laughs>